hello. Oh, she's had her leg caught around me. I'm one day post-transfer and I'm in my bed. And this little one is keeping me company. My little bubba. She's my little bubba. Because I am like a complete weirdo. Yes. She's probably telling me to shut up. Like, I'm going to put my head over your mouth so you can't talk. But, tough. Um, I'm one day post-transfer. And I'm in bed, and I've been in my bed a lot, laying down on and off. And I do sit up, but then I panic that if I sit up, um, gravity is going to destroy all hopes and dreams and make the little blast fall out, which I know doesn't happen. Yeah, it doesn't stop that being where my head goes. I'm just sat in my bed holding it. Sorry, Molly's just here. She just shoveled your voice. My good girl. Um, and I'm like freaking out. I never did this with TS. With TS, you have the whole, you know, maybe the sperm didn't like. I didn't often think maybe the quality of the sperm's not right because I've known so many, just well, not so many. I've known about two or three surrogates that are really not nice people. That if it if they don't automatically get pregnant with TS, they start going, well, they're on medication, so clearly they're firing blanks and they start throwing accusations around, totally unfounded ones, and just being quite mean because you know they don't like to. Um, think for one second that it might just be one of those things that's one thing that a healthy couple can take like 6 to 12 months to fall pregnant doing everything right you can do everything right and it doesn't work um, it could be that the sperm's not the greatest quality maybe they're getting laid far too much home because their lives are awesome apart from the infertility thing um, maybe it didn't meet the egg maybe your egg sucked Maybe my egg sucked when we were trying. Maybe I had a shriveled old grumpy egg come out of me when we were trying for sorrow bubs. Um, and I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But we had a chemical, uh, BFN, which could have been my egg failed. Uh, we had another possible chemical with possible BFN. We had some tests that were lightly positive, but others didn't have anything. They were definite BFN, so we're not sure on that one. We're on the fence. It's 50-50. And then, of course, we got pregnant. Um... And to be honest, when I was doing that, I was just sort of like, oh, I hope it works. Oh, I hope the sperm's met the egg. Oh, I hope it's fertilised because, you know, the sperm can meet egg and it doesn't fertilise. Um, oh, I hope it implants. La, la, la. And I was a bit annoying, like that obsession. Do you think it has? Do you think it has? Do you have what do you think, Darren? What do you think? What's your gut feeling? I think I probably drove him insane. But this time I'm like scared to sneeze um, <laughs> in case I eject this poor innocent baby, which isn't even a baby baby yet. It's just a little blob thing. But it, it is. It is. And it's kind of cute. It's weird, but it was cute. Um, I'm just like terrified to move and I'm just, I feel like a total reject because I'm like absolutely scared stiff in so many ways. Like the idea of this not working is just horrifying to me because I know how much hope and dream and, and wishes and how much everything went into to doing this and not to mention the money and hello Hermione, come here, you come say hi. And I'm like, actually, look, she purrs before she even gets to me. But look at this little one. Let's have lots of cute babies in here. I'm just terrified. I'm terrified it's going to fail. Terrified, terrified, terrified. It's weird. And you don't get it until you're here. And I didn't get it before. And she's gone to play with the dog. I didn't get it before the transfer. I mean, I kind of knew, but the overwhelming, like, horrifying, terrifiedness of this is... I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all right. But I do want to think about it. I think, oh, God, please work, please work. I don't ever want to cause them upset. I don't ever want to have any reason for them to be sad via me. Like, if this fails, I'm not egotistical enough to say, oh, it's all me, la, 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 let's make this about me. That's not what I mean. But the embryo looked good going in. So it would, it you know, may actually, everything in me could be perfect. In fact, from the scans, it looked like everything was pretty perfect. It doesn't mean it's going to work. And I'm aware of that. But the guilt of, was it something I did? Was it something I didn't do? Was it, you know, so I've been chumping on... Um, I just the gift basket I said about yesterday was just amazing. So I've been chomping on the chocolate coated Brazil nuts, and I I purchased um, pineapple juice and stuff, and I've had my full fat dairy thing today, and I've had my pineapple juice, and I've had the Brazil nuts, and I've laid on my ass, and I've tried to be good. And weirdly enough, and I think it must be psychological, I've started to get acid reflux, which I've not had for ages, which is probably because I've been laying down all day. It's got nothing to do with pregnancy, by the way, but um. Is making me feel quite sick and I keep getting that acidic-y thing where I feel like I'm going to be sick. 
uh, acid vomity taste and the acid yeah acid reflux i'm pretty sure it's because i've been lying down all day but of course the last time i was like this is when i was pregnant so you do think oh and then you think for god's sake least it's gravity because i've been laying down so much of today so then i'm irritated at myself because i'm thinking your one day post transfer it's definitely not anything yet but i have still been getting that pain on my right side every now and then i get it on the left a little bit but mainly it feels like the top right hand side of my uterus are still getting it but sharper more intense pain today not pain pain well i don't mean like it's agony or anything but it's a proper ah, pain for a second but you don't have to react or anything because it's not awful it's like a two rather than a one out of ten um ten being actual labor pains <laughs> and five being stubbing your toe or bashing your knee your shin on the stairs that's midway pain like that hurts that hurts but you're not going to die um and this is sort of a two ah uh -huh, twitchy face so um i know what i mean so yeah that i'm gonna probably stop because that face will be my thumbnail now i'm just manic i'm just manic mentally off my rocker um craziness and i'm gonna vlog every day about my crazy I'm going to upload them one day after another for when we do the cycle. Um, and just... Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy, crazy, crazy nutcase of craziness. And yeah, but um, hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow. I don't know. It's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. I'm going to drive myself crazy. Crazy. Err. Uh. Crazy er, I forget the crazy already. That is me, right? I'm gonna go because it's a long video. But yeah, thank you. If anyone managed to listen to the end of this, rubber ducks to you. Um, long term people will get that comment. But um, yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Bye.